What's up guys, today we're going to be going over the Verity's Brow rework and be breaking down exactly what changed and how good it is now. So first looking at the perk, Energy Weapon kills Grant Death Thrones, which provides a bonus to the damage of your grenade and grants you grenade energy. When you have Death Thrones and throw a grenade, nearby allies gain greatly increased grenade regeneration for a short time. So in this video, we're going to be breaking down exactly what these changes are. Then we will also be going over three really good builds with this, one for each subclass on Warlock. So how does this exotic even work? Well, whenever you get an energy weapon kill with this exotic on, you get death thrones stacking up all the way to times five, and the perk lasts for 10 seconds. Every single time you get a kill, it refreshes at 10 seconds, just like a perk like Rampage. And the main thing this exotic does is when you have the perk proc, you have a faster regen speed for your grenade. Then on top of that, there's gonna be a few new changes. The first being that it actually increases the damage of your grenade. As you see, without any sex, I hit 1485 per tick with a vortex grenade. Now if I go ahead and get times 1 with the perk and throw my grenade again, it should be exactly 10% more at 1633, which it is. So every single stack of this exotic will increase your grenade damage by 10%, which means with times 5, we should have 50% more damage on our grenade, as you see right here, throwing it at the ogre, and now hits for 2227, which is exactly 50% more damage than without any stacks at all. And the final thing that this exotic actually does now is increase the grenade recharge rate for allies nearby whenever the person using the helmet throws their grenade or uses it in any way, for example, proccing devour, throwing a healing nade with middle tree solar, whatever they do, whenever they use their grenade, it will do this little burst of energy to nearby allies, which also increases their recharge rate for their grenades also. And one thing that is very cool about this, depending on what stack they have, if they have times one, times two, all the way up to times five, will increase the amount of time that you get the fill the flames perk whenever they throw their grenade. As you see with times five, it lasts for 10 seconds, which means I can get off two full grenades, which is actually really, really crazy. And on top of that, the radius of this effect is actually really, really big now. As you see, I can go really, really far away from him, and every single time he throws his grenade, I still get the Field of Flames perk. And eventually, I do get outside the radius, but it is very, very far away. So not only when you're using this exotic do you get your own grenade recharge speed, but then the allies nearby you get even quicker grenade recharge rate. So there's definitely a lot of changes to the exotic that makes it a lot better for both the user and the people playing with the user, which is really cool. So overall, the exotic is really good for just general play now. Put on an energy weapon, get a lot of kills, get your grenade back quicker than every single time you actually use your grenade, it'll be 50% more damage. And when you actually use your grenade, your nearby allies will also get their grenade back way, way quicker. So overall, this exotic is a lot different now and a lot better. Obviously, the best energy weapons to pair with this is any energy weapon with demolitionist on it. That way, every single time you get a kill, you get a chunk of your grenade back. Then every single time you throw a grenade, it reloads the weapon from reserve, so you don't actually have to reload ever also. So now looking at a few of the builds, first with the arc one, we're going to be using this artifact perk right here, lightning strikes twice, where after throwing an arc grenade, gain increased grenade recharge for a short time, arc final blows extend the duration of this benefit. So when you're using this artifact perk, every single time you throw your arc grenade, you'll get stat boost for 10 seconds, and every single time you get any arc final blow, so you can use something like Jack Queen King, which is an arc hand cannon with demolitionist, and every single time you get a kill, the timer will go up all the way up to 20 seconds. So this mod works perfectly with this build because of the fact that we have a really good arc demolitionist weapon that is an energy slot, which means we proc both the stat boost, then death thrones times five. We will also be using top tree storm color, which is all about the arc web, and every single time things chain, you get your grenade back, which will be yet another way of getting an arc grenade back even quicker. And a thing that's really cool about top tree storm color is the actual chain damage itself is impacted by death thrones times five. As you saw right there, when it chained without the perk, it hit for like 600 and something. Now we get times five with Death Thrones and throw it again, the chain will do 50% more damage. So not only are we getting the 50% more damage on the actual grenade itself, the chain also is going up by 50%, which is really cool. So overall in this build, when we throw a grenade, we get stat boost. Then we also get Death Thrones on every single energy weapon kill. Also proc demolitionist on every single kill with our weapon. Then also every single time the arc web chains, we also get grenade energy back. So we're going to be getting our grenade very quick with this, we're going to be chaining a lot, and pretty much have death thrones times 5 at all times. So that build is already really good, but we can keep going even further. Since we're going to be using our arc grenade so often, we can also use this artifact mod right here, where dealing damage with arc melee, super, and grenade abilities spawn a warmind cell. Then whenever we use a warmind cell, we want to use global reach for increased radius of both the effect and the explosion of warmind cells. Then finally, the theme we're going to be using with this build is going to be the Void Suppressing Energy mod, where every single time you damage a Warmind Cell, it does a little burst of suppressing Void Energy. And really, you can use whatever mod you want in the slot. This is just the one I am using. So pretty much now, every single time we throw our grenade, it spawns a Warmind Cell. We shoot the Warmind Cell, and it suppresses everything nearby. 
then go with the build like we were before get times five death thrones get sap boost going and have your grenade very often every single time you use your grenade it will also have a warm mind cell shoot it once again for that suppressing and just rinse and repeat over and over again you could also use the mod where you take less damage from enemies near warm mind cells and another one that will be really good once we unlock it is the one where you do more weapon damage to enemies near warm mind cells but we cannot get that one right now but once we do that will also be a very good one now moving on to void walker we're gonna obviously use devour and just like before still use a demolitionist energy weapon and that pretty much already is a super strong build devour doesn't really need too much to make it really good you pop your devour get death thrones times five then also use a demolitionist weapon you'll get your grenade every three kills then your grenade does 50 percent more damage and every single time you throw it it also gives all of your allies nearby that fill the flames buff so this is already pretty strong and you don't really need to do too much to make it really good but just for fun let's use one of the old charge with light builds i made starting off with blast radius where you become charged with light with rapid kills with grenade launchers and we're going to be using martyr's retribution which is one of the best actor weapons in the game of course we're gonna have demolitions on top of that then we're gonna be using stacks on stacks that way every single time we get two kills with our grenade launcher we get two stacks of charge with light then we're also gonna be using high energy fire which will give us 20 percent more damage every single time we're charged with light which is gonna be infinite buff because of the fact that every single time we get two kills we get times two then once we get two more kills it goes back to times two again so it's pretty much an infinite buff if you guys remember my old builds last season this is pretty much the same thing but just now with the new verities braille on top of it and finally, the best solar build will be more of a team player type build, one that will be better for end game activities. We're going to be using Will of Radiance and really relying on Benevolent Dawn, which is whenever you heal or empower your allies, you get all of your abilities back much quicker. So pretty much all you need for this build is just Verdi's Brow, then also a Demolitionist Weapon in your energy slot. And you're pretty much just on play normal and drop a Healing Rift, Empowering Rift, Well, whatever it is, and then get kills with your energy weapon. And as you proc Benevolent Dawn, you'll be getting your grenade back very quickly. You can use it as a healing nade, you can use it just to throw it like a normal grenade. And every single time you do that, you're going to be giving your allies nearby a way, way quicker grenade recharge rate. So this is going to be more of like a team player build if you're doing something like Nightfalls or Raids. And this will definitely help out not only you get your grenade back quicker, but more importantly, your teammates will be getting a lot of grenades also. One thing that is interesting is you can use the Lightning Strikes Twice mod on any subclass. What you have to do is start with an Arc subclass, throw your grenade to get the stat boost going, and then you just swap to whatever subclass you want. And as long as you keep getting Arc Final Blows with something like Jack, Queen, King 3, then you're good to go and you'll have that forever, even though you're no longer on an Arc subclass. So that can be very helpful for this solar build also. Anyways, those are my three builds I made for this video. The Arc one is clearly my favorite because of the fact that it mixes in the new Wormine Cell mods. Then of course Devour is super strong as is and you don't really even need a build to make it strong. Just using Devour itself, getting health back on every single kill is already super strong. So that build is obviously very good too. And you guys know how much I love Devour anyways. So anything that makes Devour even better is really fun to use. Then finally we have the Solar build which is more about just being a team player than actually being like a solo ad clear type build. So that one's gonna be a little bit better for the in-game activities such as Nightfalls and Raids. So there's pretty much a build for a little bit of everything. The Arc one is very like solo ad clear heavy. The Devour one is kind of like in the middle ground. Then the Solar one is more so for team play. Anyways this rework is really cool. The 50% more damage with your grenades is very very cool. Then also the fact that the utility of helping your allies is a lot easier to do and it's actually easier to tell when it's working compared to before which is very nice also. Anyways let me know what you guys think about this exotic now. Have you been using it? What build have you been using it with? Or you then try one of these builds I just made in this video. Anyways thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.